Hey, how you doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Wu Long Fallen Dynasty boss guide. Today we are going to be taking on Dong So. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyways, here are my equipment setup, and here are my stat distribution. In case you guys are wondering, pretty much going for a pure water virtue here. So yeah. And before we get into the boss fight, I want to show off some attacks that he does. Uh, this double win, uh, Getsuka attack, the, the slash attack that he does, if you're too far away, it'll catch you like this. So the ideal placement you want to be is mid distance, mid to close distance. So when it sends the first one, you can send it back, and that is how you counter the second hit. Not to be mistaken with this one, where he just sends one big one down straight like this and this can be countered at any distance without any backlash and here we have the double grab attack i think he can initiate this after the hp falls below 75 percent it can happen very early on so be careful while trying to get damage in right after countering the grab otherwise you'll suffer the consequences all right so onward the boss guide First thing he'll do every time when you enter the boss room, it's he'll throw these poison knives at you, so get ready to deflect them. Don't block, because otherwise it'll trigger this poison buildup, and it can eventually poison you if you take too much of those. Um, spear attacks, you can block these regular ones, and if you want to deflect them, deflect towards your left. Okay. Um, there's one where he rears up, and after that one you can wait one yeah that one when he spins if you dodge towards the left you can get a few hits in and your heavy attack in the kick don't risk uh, attacking if you deflect or block it basically we're gonna bait him to do well we'll try to bait him to do red attacks so the grab just parry towards him be careful for getting damage in like i said earlier uh this red jumping attack you just simply parry towards him. Make sure you wait a bit, okay? Because as he's coming down, then parry. Don't parry too early, otherwise you'll just like dodge, end up dodging behind him, and that 360 spin is gonna catch you. So now that his HP dropped below 50%, it has that new move where it can jump up in the sky and throw a spear towards your location, which you can either block or parry. And here he's doing his quad knife throws, which you can. Simply dodge or parry them if you want to, but be careful while doing so. Like if you if you want to <laughs> block it, be aware that it can build up poison, and when poison is fully built up, your character can be poisoned. All right, so be careful about that. And jumping red attack. Yeah, if you want to get damage in on his regular spear moves, it's best if you do it after he does the spin like that. So after he spins, uh, make sure you dodge towards the left. Uh, if you're towards the right, I think it's like, because he continues to like, spin his spe spear on his hand for a little bit after he does that tag. I think that can tag you if you're on the right side. But if you, if you deflect towards the left side, it seems like... It's more safe. Well, if you can get the deflect up, it comes out really quick. It's a three hit combo string. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully, this video has helped. And if it did, hopefully, y'all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms out.